Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it work. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Dos Santos! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands. Five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Lisbon, Portugal, Assassin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. And he landed the right hand there. Big knee to the body. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Attempt now blocked though by Dos Santos. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Kill that guy. Unable to land with that punch. Well placed knee to the body. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left. That knee, that knee hurt him. Knee to the body. Oh! That was something. Nice strike. Well, 
Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with that uppercut. Oh, oh wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful in the arm roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Oh. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. What a fight. shot that will finish the fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's gonna go behind it. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Try to establish that jab. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice punch there by Dos Santos. Back to his patented kick. That one appeared to stun him. Santos gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Single collar tie now. He lands a big knee to the body. Throwing that jab, no good. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. contest at four minutes, six seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by Assassin. Well, we congratulate.
congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.